On a previous video, we talked about state machines and implemented one modeling a traffic light using XState, React, and TypeScript. But it was a very basic implementation. So on this video, we're going to expand on what we did earlier and implement even more XState features. Hello, I'm Santiago. And on this video, we're really going to be expanding on what we built on our previous XState video. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will suggest you to do so now before continuing with this one. To recap on the previous video, we had a working state machine for our traffic light. And we had a button to press to signal the traffic light to switch over to the next light. So to improving that model, the first logical step is to make the light change automatic. There are multiple ways to achieve that, but we're going to use one of XState features called delayed transitions. Let's dive into it. Okay, so here's our traffic light from our previous video. Um, we hit the next button and it emits an event to the state machine that changes the color that is lit. Okay, so let's make that transition happen automatically using delay transition. And delay transitions are defined for every state. So if I give it an after property, and inside that after property, I need to map a millisecond count to my desired transition. So I'm going to say 3.5 seconds yellow. And this means that when the state is green, after 3.5 seconds, it's going to go over to the yellow state. Let's do it for every single one. After 1.5 seconds, go to red. And after 5 seconds, go to green. OK, let's save it. Refresh the measure. And we should see the green light. Yes. Fitting up, then the yellow and then the red. Let's see how the late transitions work on the visualizer. I so have my code here. I'm going to paste it and hit update. And there you have it. So this is our delay transition. After 3.5 seconds, it's going to go over to yellow and red and back to green again. And one of the cool features about this is that you can still emit the next event. So let's say I want to cut the green short, right? And I can do that. And I can mess with it. And no, nothing will happen. It will still work as intended. Pretty cool, right? You can see that XState makes it really, really simple to implement delay transitions. In just a few lines of code, we were able to replicate our desired behavior of a real traffic light. Now, let's say that we need to be able to turn on and off our traffic light. How would we do this? Again, there are multiple ways to achieve this, but we're going to be using another XState feature called hierarchical states or nested states. OK, so we have our automatic traffic light, and we want to be able to turn it on and off when we want. Uh, we're going to be using hierarchical states. Um, we need to start by thinking about how the states relate to one another. So they're nested states, right? So when the traffic light is off, none of the colors should be available, right? that they shouldn't be valid. And when the traffic light is on, only one color should be valid at a time. So you can be on two colors at the same time when you're on. So first, let's model that on our type state. So I'm going to add an off state first. OK, and here's the trick. I'm going to make the on apparent every one of the colors. 
right? So it's either on red, on on yellow, or on green, but not two lights at the same time. Or, you know, it's off. So let's implement this. And I'm going to start by declaring both of the parent uh, states, like this. And what I'm going to do is on the on state, I'm going to make the child state this. And I'm going to move our colors here. Okay. I'm going to say that it, the initial is red. I'm going to say that the initial is off. And that's right. So, oh, I saved and TypeScript is telling me that our matches function is not right. Let's let's fix this match function now. Okay, so it's telling me the red is not on red, right? The types are wrong. So let's use object notation on red. On yellow, yellow, and on green. No complaints now. But we need we need something now. You see that the lights are off. We need a way to turn our traffic light on. So what do we need? Event. So let's type our event. Turn on. Okay, and another type. Turn off. Okay. Let's handle those, right? So when I receive on turn on, I'm going to move on. On, I'm going to turn off. Right. Okay. Let's implement this new event. Turn on. Turn on. The other one is turn. Turn off. Turn off, the lights turn off, turn on, the lights start at red again, right? Every time I turn it on, it starts on red. And the lights run automatically. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at how this looks on the visualizer. I'm going to paste my code, hit update, and there you have it. So you can see here that the off state is all alone. There's the only possibility it has is to be turned on, right? And if we turn it on, then the sub states are the ones changing, right? So pretty much the same like we had before. We can hit next, we can hit next, we can hit next, but we can turn it off at any time. And then on. So you can see that the visualizer is a great tool to help you understand you or somebody with a non technical background how the business logic works, how a component works, how a piece of the application works exactly, and how those rules define the behavior. Okay. Now we have a working automatic traffic light that we can turn on and off at any time. We implemented it using delayed transitions and hierarchical states. The key takeaway here is how we can put business logic directly into the state machine and how using hierarchical states, we can manage really, really complex behaviors and multiple conditional states. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I know I really enjoyed making it. Again, 
If you have any questions or if you make something cool with X-State, please share it on the comments. Thank you and see you next time.